And what do you think the young people of China are searching for today? Well, the public image in the West is that the young people of China have no interest in anything other than Gucci bags and all the other labels that you'll find in any of the great malls here in London or in New York. All these malls are in China as well. But the truth that I have found out is that there are plenty of young people interested in something more than that. And I'll give you an example. In the beginning, when people asked me what I was doing in China, I often said I was a teacher, especially if I met people on trains, and quite often they're students. And um, then eventually these conversations lasted and dried up in about seconds. So eventually I said I was a Catholic missionary priest. And this opened up a conversations that have lasted into at least 70 emails ongoing, talking about matters of the human, of the spiritual, and of truth. And there's a huge quest for truth in young people in China. And there's a huge quest for God in young people in China. And that, that, that explains as well the movement to the Catholic Church, the movement to the Protestant churches, and the movement to other faiths. Um, I'll give you an example of one young man that I met. And uh, he came into the church one Sunday morning where I hear confessions. And uh, he was looking at everything. And he was inquiring. He was deeply respectful. And then I saw him going to this uh, si right side of the church where he looked at the stations of the cross and the crucifixion. He came back again. And then he saw the Eucharistic minister giving out Holy Communion. He went up and took Holy Communion and took it away in his hand. Now, as Catholics, we know you're supposed to eat the Holy Communion when you take it. So the Eucharistic minister followed him, took the Holy Communion from him, and went away. At that point, I said I'd go out and talk to him. And this is his story. He essentially had a spiritual experience, or an encounter with God, I would say. Not the God of... Catholic faith or the Protestant faith, but the God of history, the God that's beyond, that's beyond and above all our divisions in the world at the moment. And this for him was a hugely powerful experience. His life was troublesome. He was worried about what was happening in his job, the injustices of it, the immoralities of it, and he was very unhappy. It's a long story, but this led him to changing his job, and he said, I got a peace in my life that I never had before. And from that, he said then, I heard you could meet that God in this church on a Sunday morning. That's why I came here. And then I could see why he was looking and searching. And then I said, why did you go to the take the bread, which I called it? Well, he said, I just thought that might be the God. From a Catholic priest point of view, I said, how, how, how much more truth could you have got? So I explained to him the situation, and we're in touch still. He's searching and struggling, and I gave him the Beatitudes to read, and he comes and discusses matters of the fundamental truths that Jesus put out when he came on earth, particularly the one that's important to him now, that he knows he's loved and will be helped by God.